guys welcome back to no catchy name it's me ella today is friday may 19th <laughs> 2023 and it's a national holiday today today is national endangered species day so uh I, and i love animals <laughs> i've always been like an animal lover and i've always wanted to try to help you know when i can so this is an important day to look up in your local areas wherever you live all over the world uh, to see what animals are endangered in your area and to see about how you can go about <laughs> helping them to um, not only quit being killed off by pollutions and developments and stuff like that, uh, but also to help learn how to protect all the wildlife in your area and let them be around for your kids and grandkids and great grandkids to see in the future. Anyways, so I made two little amigurumis today <laughs> to commemorate endangered species day and so what i did is i went to google and i typed in endangered species tennessee and it brought up a list of seven and i'm sure there's more than seven but it just brought up like a, a list of seven and so i picked two of them off that list that i thought would i would try to make amigurumis of so um i did use two free patterns but one of them i did tweak and i'll talk about that when i get to it and it looks like some little grubby hand got a hold of it <laughs> one of the kids touched it it's dirty um, so yeah, so I'll start with the first one. So the first one is the Obey, Obey Crayfish, which down here, everybody that I know <laughs> calls them crawdaddies. And I know further south, they call them mud bugs, but they're crayfish. And I know a lot of people eat them, especially down in the south. They make like broils and stuff. I've never eaten one, but it's because I tend to have really a lot of allergies. So Devin won't let me try any shellfish anywhere we go because <laughs> he's afraid that I'll have a reaction. Anyways. It's a total side thing. This uh, crayfish is super, uh, in, not important because they're all important, but special <laughs> because the Obey crayfish is only found in the Obey River here in Tennessee. And that's actually fairly close to me. I've passed it many a times on my way to and from other places. So it's kind of interesting that uh, it's just a species that's only in my little part of the world. Uh, but they are endangered due to uh, water pollution and urban development which means, you know, more of their habitat is being destroyed because of humans <laughs> uh, building habitats for themselves. But, um, so I made this pattern, and this is a free pattern that was recently released by Olive at Stranding Ding. And I'll leave it linked below. It is a free pattern. Did I already say that? <laughs> uh, and it, hers is a lobster, but I mean, lobsters and crayfish basically look the same. Just one's big, one's small. So here's my little Obey crayfish. He is small. I use worsted weight yarn. This is a, a Bernat color. I can't remember what the color is. But it's a burnout. And um, I'm trying to think about hook. Oh, I used e hook. It was 3.5 millimeter. I'm pretty sure. This is made in four pieces, but it's really easy. The body and tail is one piece. These two little claws are two separate pieces. And then the legs, it's like a circle piece with legs coming off of it, is one piece. So it's still really easy, even though it's four pieces. And it sews together super quick. And it turned out cute. Jesse is already asking for multiple colors of these. So, I'm probably going to make a lot of these little guys. <laughs> but, um, I made him this reddish brown because the Obey crayfish was described as a reddish or rusty orange color. So, I thought this kind of, kind of went. <laughs> but, uh, so there's my little crayfish. I used to love, as a kid, we would go to rivers and stuff. And me and my brother used to always, um, you know, move rocks and catch these little guys and put them in like a little net. We wouldn't ever take them home and eat them or anything. But we would catch them and carry them around with us and then let them let go. And, uh, it's just a fun memory, you know, and I still like when I take the kids to the park and stuff, I'll see them scooting around cause they kind of, they swim backwards. And, uh, it just reminds me of my childhood, seeing them little shoot around. A lot of times you can find their little skeletons <laughs> from where I guess they die. Um, I don't know if it's kind of, maybe they get out of the water and can't get back in it or maybe something kills them. I don't know, but you find their little, uh, claw skeletons and it's just kind of cool. I mean, it's not cool that they're dead, but it's cool to see the little skeletons <laughs> anyways the second um endangered species that i picked to make an amigurumi for and y'all don't make fun of my embroidery we've already had this discussion i'm not an embroiderer <laughs> um i am trying to work on it but i think my error is i keep using worsted weight yarn to embroider with and i need to get a little collection of embroidery floss as if i need more stuff but like get a jar with embroidery floss in it to use to make um details on things because i think it would look better if it was a little thinner yarn um than worse away but anyways 
So the second one <laughs> is a bog turtle, which is also, it's only found in certain parts of Tennessee and North Carolina. So it's like the most eastern part of Tennessee and North Carolina. Um, they are the smallest turtles in, I think it's in North America. Um, and they only grow to be about four inches long. <laughs> so they're, they're pretty small. They're little turtles and they are also endangered because of water pollutants and urban development. Go figure. <laughs> but, um, I already said that they were only found here. Yeah. So I made him and this pattern was a free pattern as well. It's called Cute Little Turtle by Kiara Cremon. I think it's how you say it. I looked it up because it's spelled a little bit different than I'm used to seeing. And I know I got Kiara right, <laughs> but I don't know about the last name. But this is such a cute pattern. It is made in three pieces as well. And I did alter it a little bit and I'll tell you about that. But don't make fun of my embroidery, okay? <laughs> so I made it in a brown color because uh, on the website it said that the bog turtles are usually... There's pieces of Cheetos all over it. I think June must have got a hold of it. <laughs> Uh, they are brown, dark brown or black, and but they are identified <laughs> by the yellowish orangish orangish spot on their neck, <laughs> which is what I attempted to embroider, but it looks a little weird. But you know what's what? It's, it doesn't matter. The kids are gonna play with it. It doesn't matter. So this is the cute little turtle, and I, the alteration I did make other than the spot <laughs> is his little eyelids. I made eyelids. I seen, um, who was it? KS Mom. I seen her, um, talk about in one of her videos, Julie, I forgot her name for a second, <laughs> uh, that she started adding, uh, the little eyelids onto her patterns, her dragons, I think it was. Um, and she said that she just chained a few and then stitched them on there. That's what I did. I chained four and stitch them above the little safety eyes. And I think it just adds a lot of character and it just looks so cute. I'm definitely gonna do that from now on whenever I have a pattern that I can. <laughs> um, but I think, think it's so cute. So this pattern is free as well. I used Worst Away again and an e-hook again. I've been favoring the e-hook lately. Uh, so the bottom with the f feet <laughs> is one piece, the head is one piece and the top shell is one piece. And then to put it together, you sew the head to the bottom and then the bottom to the top. But then after I did that, the head was a little floppy. So I did go back and I put some extra stitches, like with needle, uh, from the head to the top shell, just to kind of hold it up a little bit. And I think it's cute. I think this is a cute pattern. Um, if you if you don't look at the neck <laughs> where I messed it up and it looks weird, I think it's just so cute. But that is my two endangered species from Tennessee. So I would encourage you, if you're interested, which everybody should be interested because <laughs> it's important, um, Look up for your local area, the endangered species around you, and ways you can help them. And uh, help preserve things for your kids and grandkids and great-grandkids and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, to enjoy even after we're gone, you know. They need to have these things too. Because a lot of these little critters have a big importance with the environment. And we all live in the environment, so we need to be worried about it. But these are my two little critters today. I wanted to hop on here and show you with you, share with you guys. I will leave both their patterns down below and I'll link Julie's channel down below so you can check her out. She's so sweet and she makes the cutest things too. And uh, that was a good idea about the little eyelids. I'm definitely going to be using that in the future for everything. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.